to share um, this word with you this morning. I want to I want to encourage you, motivate you. Hello. I want to leave you with your faith standing in the power of God. Hello. So many things is causing us and it's leaving us with with see with, with standing in fear. Oh, but no, 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 not the ecclesia. Uh-uh, not the called out ones. I don't know about y'all. Hello. Glory to God. That's not my assignment. My assignment is not to spread fear. Oh, my, 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 my. Hello. So let's talk about something today, okay? Is it all right? And you know, I'm going to use one of our favorite um, examples. I'm, I'm going to use a couple of them, but I'm going to use one of our favorite examples, okay? I'm going to use um, Abraham once again. All right, is that okay with you all today? Faith comes how? And, 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 and. When you get tired of hearing, what should you keep doing? And when you get tired of hearing, what should you keep doing? And when you get tired of hearing, what should you keep doing? And when you get tired of hearing, what should you do? Uh-oh, uh-oh, Apostle Will said, hear some more. Faith comes by. Faith comes by, and hearing by the, amen, glory to God, hallelujah. And remember, um, Dr. Bill Hammond, uh, Bishop Hammond, Papa Prophet Hammond, he reminded us, how, how can you, how, you can measure a person's faith by their mouth. You can measure a person's faith by what's coming out of their mouth, how they're using their mouth. Hello. And then if you look at the scriptures, you'll see that, well, he's not making that up. N nor was Charles Capps or Kenneth Hagin or Oral Roberts or, or, or even Dr. James David Trevor. <laughs> I wonder who that is. Oops. <laughs> Y'all better start waving them signs and tell me to behave myself. <laughs> uh, what? When you look at the scripture, you will notice that Jesus would many times create a dialogue. He did, he, he did with the, with, with, the, with, the blind, with the blind man. The blind man was, oh, thou son of David, oh, thou son of David. And so Jesus was like, okay, what do you want? Oh, that I might see. He said, well, first of all, let's find out something. Do you believe that I could do this? Uh-oh. Hello. He was, he was provoking a response. Are, are you hearing? You have to realize you know, everything that we're going through in the world, it is working together for our good. All this negative stuff, because God said all things work together for the good of those that love him, that are the called according to his what? So now, you know what? There's a purpose, purpose for your mouth. And they're trying to cover your mouth. Hello? And they try, uh, uh, are you hearing? Why? Because you are the ones that can legislate. Oh, my goodness. Hello? Oh. All creation is groaning and it's waiting. It's waiting to be relieved from its pain. It's waiting to be relieved from its agony. It's waiting to be, be relieved from its curses. But it's waiting. It's waiting. It's waiting on not just any son of God. The Bible don't say any son of God. It says it's waiting for the manifested son of God. Hello? Hello? So that word manifest, that means that, okay, you got to be doing something to show that you're a son of God. And in this case, glory to God, we're talking about when we are like our daddy. See, I don't know about y'all, but I'm like my daddy, you know, like, I, and I'm like my big brother. Jesus is my big brother. He's my king. He's my great high priest. Oh, he's my hero. Are you hearing? And, and you know what my hero did? And we're going to go over it. And, you, know, you know, he opened up his mouth. Yes, he did. Hello. So, so I'm going to help you this morning, okay? All right? I'm going to help you. I'm going to yield to the Holy Ghost to help you, to remind you. And, and I'm, we're going to think about this. And, you know, I, I'm, you know, it's not church as usual anymore. I love it. And so, you know, I might even give some of y'all a microphone just in case you want to talk back to me. Okay? Hello. Woo! Let's go to Romans chapter 4 really quick. All right, let me get my little notes here. <laughs> oh, I'm happy.
And as we're going there, let, 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 me, let me remind you of, of some things. Oh, boy. Uh, and Jermaine, are you ready? Because you got to yes. move real fast. Yes, here. I am. Second Timothy, Timothy. one seven. This is a reminder. For God has not given us. For the God of fear. has not given us. How many of you fit into the us? Yes, I do. How many of you fit in that category of the us? Yes, God has not given you what? The spirit of fear. I love this. I love this. You know why? Because see, uh, I, I, at first I was going to do it this way. Because, you know, I really love dealing with what they call um, myths, you know, and, and these, all these various things that, you know, people have and these sayings that we try to make it like, like it's, it's greater than the Bible, you know. And one, one of them is, you know, I, I, heard, I heard, you know, I heard a college graduate say this. <laughs> And he was like, well, yeah, you know, they teach us. You know, every, a, a little dose of fear is good for you. I'm like, what? Don't be looking at me like that because, yeah, y'all, uh-uh. Because, yeah, listen, we, we have been woven into this mindset that, you know, it is humanly impossible to not be afraid. It is humanly, we're, we're alive. This is the world. You got to be kidding me. Well, then I want to ask you, what life are you living then? Whose life are you talking about then? Oh, boy. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, 3, 4, 5. Remember, it lets us know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of what? Stronghold. Then it says, and you cast down every imagination and every bit of knowledge that exalts itself above the what? Okay, so read that scripture. What is that? Come on, For God have not given us the spirit of fear. All right, all right, let me ask you a question. Do you consider that as the knowledge of God, what we're reading? Yes. Is this the knowledge of God? Yes. So, so when, when the institutions and the, and, and the world is, is, is constantly bombarding you to make you believe and to stay into the conformity of, you know, listen, it is human to fear. I mean, like, don't they say it's human to air or something like that? Well, okay, so now this is, see, hello, this is working together for our good. Whose report are you going to believe? Whose report are you going to believe? Hello? This is the opportunity for you to take the weapon of your warfare that God has given you, hello, and cast down. Pull down those imaginations. Cast down that everything that wants to exalt itself above the knowledge of God. Because remember, when it exalts itself, it is doing it so it can take you captive. So it can capture you. Uh, so it can enslave you. Are you hearing? You know, we got everybody fighting for all kind of rights and, and justice. And, <clears throat> and we don't even realize that, that, that the justice, oh my goodness, is, is, is under attack. Hello, my. It says, come on, come on, go. Come on. Oh, I thought she put it up there. Come on, go ahead, read it. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. Who has not given you the spirit of fear? God has not given Who? us the spirit God. Who? God. So when someone wants to challenge you, come on, stop looking at me like that, because y'all know that's how y'all are. You know, especially us. You let somebody challenge you about your macaroni and cheese. You got a whole lot to say. Uh-huh. You let, you, let you let somebody walk up on you and start dealing with you about your black eyed peas and your collard greens and, 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 and uh, oh, my word, you, you got a whole lot of stop it. Uh-huh. <laughs> but, but, but what about... When it comes to those things that are trying to make us have a different mindset. Oh, my goodness. The Bible says, let this mind which was in Christ Jesus be in you and I. Huh? That's the, listen, now it's time to get your attitude on. Hello? Now it's time to get your attitude on. Oh, my. Oh, my. Now it's time to open your mouth and poke your fingers. And you know how y'all do it, Oh, yeah, now that's the time. Oh, oh. 
Are you hearing? God has not given. God has not given. So why are we chasing? Why are we settling? Why are we agreeing with someone else and everything else that's trying to give us something that God didn't give us? I mean, after all, I thought that's a part of being saved so you can get rid of all the stuff that, <laughs> that was given to you by the world, the flesh, the devil, circumstances. Are, are y'all all right? Come on, just, just work with me. God has not given us what? The spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but of power and of love and of a sound okay, mind. Okay, so, so what do you have? What did he give you? Just, and, and it's easy. I try to help people. You know, the answer's right before you. <laughs> what has he given you? Power, love, and a sound mind. Okay, so wait a minute. Uh, someone else find the scripture that says fear causes torment. Okay, come on, hurry up. So now which one? Which one? Which one did God give you? Did God give you torment or did he give you a sound mind? So, so which one do you have? Which one do you have? Which one did God give you? Which one do you have? See, some of y'all looking at me like, I, okay, loose here in the name of Jesus. Get, what? I bet you if I say, how many of y'all like uh, pizza? Y'all be telling me, yeah, but I like pepperoni. And I like the one where you would be sitting there just describing. Come on. God gave you what? And what else? Lo thank y'all. Thank y'all. I did say what else. <laughs> God gave you power, love, and a... Did, come on, did you get it yet? It says fear does what? All right, all right, all right. Thank come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, governmental ladies. We'll read it. Uh-huh. Come on. Because fear hath what? So wait a minute. You tell me that everyone else is smarter than God? Oh, I know what it is. See, when, when I was a much younger Christian, like around like 20, 21, uh, they had this Bible. It still probably exists. It's, it, was, it was called The Way. Do you remember that Bible, Mom? The way. And, and you know, we, we, we had to put that Bible down because of the way it was written. It was a different um, version of the Bible. You know how we got all kind of versions now. But, but, but this woman, it was describing God and Elijah. When Elijah was dealing with the prophets of Baal, it, it said, it, uh, he, he said, he said, what happened? What's, what, did, your, did, your, did your God, uh, did he go? I ain't going to say that word. I was like, oh, my goodness, that's, ah. So, so now, but I'm going to be nice. I'm going, what, is God on a vacation? I know, I know, I know. Talk about me all you want to. I don't care. But you know what? God is not practicing social distancing. Thank you, Jesus. Hello? You know, you know, the Holy Spirit is not saying, you know what, uh, uh, um, uh, Tangela, um, being that the world is going through this fear, this torment, I, I'm going to have to speak to you from a distance. Oh, oh, gee, oh my goodness, Jesus. Oh, wow. Now Jesus done what against his word. Because in Hebrews, we have the promise. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you all the time. Oh, but now, now, now because of what's going on. Something has finally hit our lives that has caused Jesus to change his mind. Hello. Come on, I'm, I want you to, I want to provoke you. I want to stir your faith up. Hello, I want to stir up your courage, your boldness, your trust. Remember, I'm never saying, and God's not saying these things don't exist. But I love it. Look at this. Look at this. The scripture says, and in, in, I, I believe it's just Isaiah, it says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. But if you notice, God never tries to hide the enemy from you. He, but he, he lets you see it and, and doesn't mind you seeing it. Why? Because he also lets you see the outcome. 
He says, yeah, it might form, but guess what? The outcome is it's not going to prosper. Whoa. Come on. Come on, believers. Whoa. So, so let me, because you, because you know, this is how we are. And I'm, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm get, I'm moving on. Stop it. <laughs> what do you have? I got a, <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> but, but why, why don't it come to us quickly to say, I got power. I got a sound mind. I got love. Why, why doesn't that come to us as spontaneous and as quick? Hello. See, I'm not saying that those things don't exist. God doesn't say that those things don't exist, those things that come to trouble us and try us. But he says something about them. Whoa, see, he says something about them. He has taught us through the lives of so many others, glory to God. He has taught us how those individuals learned also to have a biblical and a kingdom of God perspective and not a world's perspective. Are y'all with me? All right, come on. Jar, Jar, you got that one? Yes. That's one. Oh, come on. I, I got to hurry up. All right, come on. Here, here, here's another one. Oh, my, my, my iPad's trying to update. <laughs> okay, let's go. Look, look, look at this one. Um, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1 and 2. Come on, really, really, really quick. Look at all these scriptures. I mean, we could stay here for a while by me giving you scriptures where the Bible says, fear not, 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 fear not. Wow, that's a whole lot of fear not. That's a whole lot of fear not. I mean, after all, don't God know that we should be scared? <laughs> I mean, come on. Come on, what does that one say? But thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, oh, and he that formed thee. I love this. See, you know why I love this? Because when I look in the Old Testament, I see the relationship that God had with individuals, and I can see it was so personal, and that he would get in their face. <coughs> Hello? He would get with them. And so you know what? The Holy Spirit is, 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 is doing his ministry. He's comforting us. He's reminding us. Come on. He's encouraging you. Fear not. Fear not. What do you have? See, I, that's why I tell you, glory to God, I, I love all y'all, but I really love this, this younger generation. I've been waiting for them to grow up. I always tell them that because, you know, I, most, I, you know, I haven't seen all of these people when they was having babies and babies was running around here, running all up and down in the service, and now they worshiping them. Because they're quick, they're fast. They'll be sitting there looking at you like, hello. Whoa. Come on, read that, Jar. But thus saith the Lord that what? created thee, O Jacob. What did he say? Fear not. Fear not. Now, now, now look at this. For I have what? For I have redeemed oh. thee. Wait a minute. What about you? What about you? Aren't you the redeemed? Aren't you the redeemed? Aren't you the redeemed? I mean, I did run across the scripture too. You know, I didn't really run across it, but just to say it that way. It says, let the redeemed of the Lord what? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm dying. Oh, oh, my goodness, it's the end of the world. Oh, it's the death of me. Oh, my. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So, and you know what follows that is so many things. What am I? What, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Okay, this is what I'm saying. I got power. I got love. I got a sound mind. I'm the healed of the Lord. Every disease, germ, and virus that looks at me dies instantly. The law of the spirit of life is the law that I am subject to. Hello. 
And then when something comes to try you, let, let, me, let me ask y'all a question. How many of you have to go through a door to enter into your home? I know some of you climb through the window, some of you climb. <laughs> well, I mean, have you ever, you know, like tried the door? Have you, have you ever like put your, ha, has the door ever ran from you because you tried it? Didn't the Bible say the trying of our faith is more precious, precious than gold? gold. There's things that's going to come to try your faith. Hello? And you know what we do? We leave the faith right there. We run. <laughs> faith is there saying, no, 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 no. Remember, I'm the substance of the things that is hoped for. I'm the evidence that you got the victory. I'm the evidence that you're the head and not the tail. But you know what? We're like, oh, and then we leave faith right there and that gone. But when the last time your door, when, when is the last time your door ran from you when you tried it? I know, I know, but listen, don't mess with me because the Bible says Jesus did not teach anybody unless he used parables. So you, so you better get used to my little illustrations that I'm giving you. Hello, because uh, what? The trying of your faith is more what? Oh, no, that bling, bling all around y'all. Bling, bling. So precious to you. You love your blinging. And that's Okay. But the Bible says your faith is more precious than your gold. Faith is more precious than your gold. faith is more precious than your gold. Your faith is more precious than gold. See, the devil is a liar. Your faith get tried, and then the spirits of deception and lying spirits are there working. And you know what they're telling you why your faith is being tried? See, you don't have none. Because if you, if you had faith, you wouldn't be going through this. See, you, you don't have no faith. That's a lie. The devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. Come on, let me hear you rebuke him. You're not going to lie to me no more. When, when you notice and observe that your faith is being tried, then you should realize, okay, well, I have something that is more precious than what? Hello, are y'all with me? Whoa, fear not. Fear not. All right, now we're going to go to, to Abraham. <coughs> All right? Because I want to I, I wanna ease... I want to ease you, ease you. I want to calm you down. I want you to relax, okay? Rest. Be at peace. Be at peace. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I, want to sh I just want to share with you. Listen, this is, this is life. And, 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 and what I mean by that is every single day, whether you realize it or not, you experience feelings versus faith even if you don't realize what it even if you don't realize it even if you don't know to call it that every human being and especially believer every believer on an everyday basis you deal with feelings versus feelings versus even if you don't know to identify it in that manner that is what it's just something that you and I just deal with and got to deal with now, when you are aware of it, then you know what the battle is about. Okay, listen. Now, if I turn on, what is it called? E ESPN. ESPN. If I, if I turn that on, you know, I, I might have to sit there for a while and figure out, you know, like, who is that? What are they doing? <laughs> I mean, now, I know the difference between football, and, but I would still have to figure out, like, okay, what's this team? T they all look alike to me. Like the basketball people, you yes. know, I, okay, the forward, the center, the all, they just look like they're all in the court running around. But, at, but as I learn to identify who is who and who's, who's doing what and, and what, the, the appreciation goes up, right? The understanding goes up. The expectation goes up, right? Are, are, you, are you hearing? Oh, so the, the Holy Spirit is enabling us. He's giving us wisdom and revelation and insight. Listen, feelings versus what? But if it was the, if it was the Sixers versus, come on, Will, what's your team? The Lakers. Which one would you be sitting there rooting for? Which one would you expect to win? He, he's, 
He looking at me going like this here, the Lakers. <laughs> Hello. Well, I mean, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be thrown off the couch while you're sitting there looking at the game, would you? You would be, you would be expecting, right? You would be like, big deal, so what? They're going to win. That my team is. Hello. When, when you come, become aware of your feelings, stop falling off the couch. Stop throwing in the towel. Hello. What about the other team? I, 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 the last time I checked, the Bible says we walk by faith and not by sight. The just shall live by faith. Hello. Do, do, do you? So what? Feelings versus what? Faith is not afraid of your feelings. I need, I'll say it again. Your faith is not afraid of feelings. Your faith is not afraid of feelings. Are you hearing? But you know what we do? When something is standing in front of us, we put rationalization on it. We send, we send rationalization and reasoning out to check everything out. Hello? And then you know what? Just like the children of Israel, you're you going to surely see yourself as a grasshopper when you do that. Hello? But when you realize that, glory to God, uh-uh, uh-uh, feelings does not intimidate faith. Hello? Are you hearing? By faith we walk. By faith we live. By faith we stand. By faith we succeed. Oh, I know. Some of y'all looking at me like, well... See, you know why you're looking at me like that? Because you're still in the land of feelings. And you know what? Listen, by now, for those of you who've been saved for a while, stop that praying because you can't pray. God's not going to answer your prayers. Come on. God, can you take the feeling away? No, he's not going to take the feeling away. He's going to teach you how to overcome. He's teaching you, glory to God. Hello. He, he's teaching you. Oh, oh, oh. Are y'all all all right? All right, so come on, let's, let's look at this. We're going to look at Abraham really quick. I'm going to give you some pointers. Come on. What shall we say then? That okay, wait, 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 Jar. I know, I'm sorry. You, you, you're happy. You're kind of going <laughs> a little ahead of me here. Uh, uh, feelings versus what? Faith. Feelings versus? Faith. How many of y'all woke up this morning with a feeling? <laughs> guess, 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 guess what else you had? How many of you, when you, you go to bed tonight, there's still going to be what? But guess what else there's still going to be? Now, what am I doing? See, I got to get you to acknowledge your faith. Because we're so used to practicing acknowledging our what? All right, okay. All right, um, okay. I, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> I think I want you to start like around verse... Uh, um, Verse maybe seven or eight. Let's see. Okay. Verse I, I, I thought they had it written down. Okay, go ahead, read it. Saying, "Blessed are those, blessed now, you are they." Move fast, because if you know if you don't read fast, All I'm right. going <laughs> to say stuff. Saying, "Blessed are they whose <laughs> iniquities are forgiven and whose uh -huh. sins are covered." Uh -huh. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only? No. Come on. Or upon the uncircumcision also. For, yes. we, for we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. Whoa. But we got a better covenant through Jesus. All right. I'll leave that alone. I'll let, I'll let Pastor Simon preach that one. Come on. How was it then reckoned? Come when on. he was in circumcision no. or in uncircumcision? Uncircumcision. Not in circumcision, but in uncircumcision. I'm just helping y'all because y'all not answering the scripture. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> and he received the sign of circumcision, a seal of the righteousness of the faith, which he had yet being uncircumcised. See, it was a seal of the faith that he had. Mm -mm -mm. Hello? 
And guess what? Our seal is the Holy Spirit. Whoa. The Holy Spirit is our seal. We've been sealed. Glory to God. Okay, let's go on. Come on, of the, faith, of the faith which he had yet being uncircumcised, uh -huh. that he might be the father of all oh, them that believe. He might be the father of all. Don't be sitting to me. Father Abraham is <laughs> number one. And, and many and sons have Father <laughs> Abraham. I am one of them. And so are you. No, you a liar. It says he's the father of those who what? He didn't say though he's the father of those who are in a denomination or those that are in some church affiliation. It says he's the father of those who what? Believe. Mm, and we ain't talking about believing a denomination, believing a doctrine. No, no, no. Because, you know, we got, a, we got a weird definition of what a believer is. No, hello. Woo. He is the father of those who what? Believe. Believe. And so you're believers, right? Yes, I am. Are you a believer because you're associated with gatekeepers? No. Are you believers because uh, you call yourself, I don't know, uh, Pentecostal, apostolic, prophetic, you know, all the above, all of them blend together? Hello? Why are you a believer? Huh? Listen, because they believe. Why are you a believer? Because I'm born again. I'm what blessed, washed in the blood oh, of Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're a believer because uh, you are born again into a kingdom who has a king, and specifically that king is Jesus Christ, who's the one who has redeemed you, who has set you free, oh my, and you have total total absolute persuasion you're totally persuaded absolutely persuaded oh my goodness that he is God and that he put on flesh oh my and ooh, shed his blood he was raised now seated on the right hand of the father Woo, my, huh he is coming back again. The Christ. The Christ. Ooh, not a Christ. The Christ. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, come on, Joe. I, I that, got, come on. I, I only got like maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> that he might be the father of all them that believe. Though they be not circumcised. Though they be not what? Circumcised. Though they be not what? Circumcised. circumcised that the righteousness might be imputed unto them that also. That the righteousness might be imputed unto them also. Jesus is your righteousness. Jesus is my righteousness. Hello. I love this. Even when you don't feel righteous. See, feeling versus what? Faith. Feeling versus what? Faith. You need to come on. <laughs> Come on, Jar. Come and on. The, and the father of circumcision to them who are not of the circumcision only, but who also walk in the steps of that faith, our father but Abraham. Also who walk in the steps of the faith of our father Abraham. Come on. Which he had being yet uncircumcised. Being yet uncircumcised. You trying to wait until y'all get perfect to believe God. Mm. I believe I'm healed when, when I feel better. Oh, the healing work, because I know the healing is work because I don't feel no sniffles. I, I, feel about not, I feel better today, so now you're the healed of the Lord. Oh, oh, I, I'm okay now. You know, oh, yeah, I'm happy today now because, you know, your, your, your endorphins and all that is, is all up. <coughs> Well, let me share this with you in a loving manner. <laughs> Feelings versus faith. Who wins? Faith in God. Your faith. According to your faith, so be it unto you. According to your faith, so be it unto you. According to your faith, so be it unto you. As thou hast believed, as thou hast believed. That's the language of the scriptures. That's the, it don't say, as thou hast feel. You know, 
just like those songs when I was growing up and the people was running around, you know, feelings. <laughs> and, and we still running around with those old things working in us, feelings. Mm -mm, no. Hello. I believe God. I believe God. He's given to every single one of us the measure, a measure. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All the hearing that y'all have been doing throughout the years. All the hearing, all the hearing, all the hearing. You have a, you have like a, 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 a vault. A vault. A vault. Like, you know, like the bank vault. Oh, yes. That faith is stored up. That faith is stored up. Hallelujah. Hmm. See, I keep telling y'all now, y'all should know by now, you come right here, I'm not going to sit here and preach no woe is me to y'all. <laughs> hmm? I come to church, I come to church so the preacher can, can give me one like, come on, I, I need to hear that comforting sermon. Oh, God won't put more on you. Then you can bear. And y'all like, oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 no. No. The Peter said in his book, he said, I'm going to remind you by stirring up your pure mind. Hello? Your pure mind. Soberness in the name of Jesus. You have power, you have love, and you got a sound mind. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. See, and this is what I love. Look at this. Look at this. See, I tell you, God, it's not, I, I'm not trying to, well, you're, you're, you're not that bird that uh, puts his head in the uh, ostrich. ostrich. No, you're a new creature. Are, are you hearing? See, but, but you notice how it says you are more than a what? Conqueror. So don't you realize that that implies that something's got to be there that you got to conquer? How in the world are you going to be more than a conqueror if there ain't nothing to conquer? Hello? That's, that sounds weird. Somebody talking about, I want to be a football player, and they don't want to catch the football. They don't want to have nothing to do with a football. I want to be a football player, but then when it's time for them to be tackled or whatever, they, they off someplace else. I thought you wanted to be a football player. Don't that go along with the, with the game? I mean, you know, i am got to ask, you know. That's why I don't want to be no football player because I don't want no way in the world. He's hitting me like that. <laughs> okay, let me behave myself. All right, come on, John. We got to get to verse 14. For the pro Verse 13. For the promise that he No, no, should, I'm going to go to 14. Oh, straight to 14. Okay. For, for if they which are of go the law. Go to 15. Because the law. Because I have to hurry up now. Because come the on, law go to 16. Work, <laughs> therefore, it is of faith that it might be. By grace, mm -hmm. to the end of the promise, excuse me, to the end, the promise might be sure to all the seed, mm -hmm. not to that only which is of the law. Not to that only which is of the law. But Go to ahead. that also which is of the faith of Abraham. Uh -huh. Those who, who are of the faith of Abraham, you are, you are Abraham's children as well because you do what? All right, that's right. Come on. Who is the father of us all? Come on, let's go to the next verse. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations uh -oh, here before, we go. before him whom believed. Who does what? Who believed. Come on. Even God who quickeneth the dead. Even God. Who oh, look at something and dead and say, listen, to me you're not dead. Get up. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. Whoa. So I want to say this. Don't give up the dream. Okay? Don't give up the dream. Don't give up the dream. Don't sit in the middle of all these reports that we're hearing, and now you're saying, how in the world can my business prosper? I can't even get out. How in the world can my business prosper? People can't. It requires people to come. It requires for me to deal with folks. How? how no, 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 no. Well, who gave you the business? Who promised you? Oh! Don't quit. Don't give up. Don't faint. 
Okay, maybe this is just for, maybe this is for me, okay. Don't, don't quit. Don't quit. Maybe it's just for me. That, don't quit. Don't, don't, don't faint. Don't faint. Maybe it's just for. I mean, because the way some of y'all are looking, y'all are looking at it like, all right. <laughs> Hello. Oh, but I'm coming down your alley. Just give me a minute. I'm, I'm coming. Hello? Come on, let's go to verse eight. <laughs> let's go to verse 18. Who against hope believed in hope. Okay, here we go. Look, look, look. That he might become the father of many nations. Okay, John, I know you're happy. Okay, take your time. Go to verse 19 now. And being not weak in faith. Oh, and being not weak in faith, what? He considered. Now let not. me help you to understand. All right. Okay. You want to know how to stay strong in faith and be considered as someone that's not weak in faith? When you learn to consider not. Thank you for tuning in all throughout the U.S. and all on the continent of Africa. We thank you so much for joining, and we would love to hear your testimonies. And you can share those with us by phone as well as by email. And it's coming right up on the screen for you so that you can call us at 856-406-6101. Again, our phone number is 856 406 6101 and it's coming up on the screen and we encourage you if you're not following us already to follow us on Periscope, follow us on YouTube, follow us on Facebook as well as following us on Twitter. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amen. And if you're following us on YouTube and following us on Facebook, if you subscribe to our channel, you'll get a notification every time we go live. And we encourage those that are on YouTube, click the like button on YouTube. Amen. So that we can have your uh, likes on our video. Amen. And also, lastly, we don't we want to encourage you to to tune into our website. Our website is www.kingdomimpactministries.net. Again, our website is www.kingdomimpactministries.net. Thank you so much for tuning in and God bless you.